Let's learn Victor Hugo and Sarah. Time reading. Hello kids, as you can see it is clock, and today I'm going to teach you how to read time. But first let me show you which parts, which number that run from 1 up to number 12. Now let's proceed to my two most important part which are my hands. My small hand, my big hand. My small hand shows the hour. Every time my small hand moves from one number to the other it means one hour has passed. For example when my small hand pointed it at number 1, moves to number 2 we read the time is 2 o'clock. When it moves to the number 3, it's 3 o'clock. And then again moves again now it's 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock and so on. It also has five lines between number one, two, three, four, five, sixty small lines around the coal. These lines represent sixty minutes and an hour. For example, it's three o'clock now. Look closely as my my big hand makes a movement and landed in a first small line. We read the time is three o one. Now it's move again. We read the time is two. Then three o. Oh, Three, three, oh, four. Let's learn how to properly read the time. They are 24 hour, 1440 minutes in a day, and reading the time in a clock can help us easily distinguish day from night. Yeah! Small hand made a full movement, it means 12 hours, it's already past, it's the afternoon or the new day has begun. Here's some kids' fun facts. Did you know Woo! that M is anti meridian, which means before midday or, or before noon? Meanwhile, stand for the Latin phrase post meridian, which means afternoon or after midday. Now let's practice for now. Let's guess the time after the hour. Are you ready? Here we go. Can you tell me the time? That's correct. It's 6 5 a.m. How about this time? Yes. It's 6 10 a.m. And this one, you're absolutely right. It's 6 15 a.m. We can also tell time before the hour. Kids, can you tell me the time? Correct, it's 5.55 p.m. Yeah! Let's try another one. It's 6.50 p.m. Yes! How about this one? Fantastic, it's 7.45 yeah! p.m. Now let's practice. Kids, can you tell me the time? Correct, it's 8.10 a.m. Let's do another one. That's right, 8.13 a.m. And next one, 8.40 p.m. How about next one, 9.20 p.m. Knowing how to read time very important. It can help you being aware daily schedule such as waking up, going to school, yeah! play time, eating time, study time, and sleeping time. It can also make you responsible and perform in daily tasks on time as what your parents would require. Thanks for watching and see you the next lesson. Kids subscribe for more.